I, I, especially today, on a day like Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like shout out to everybody locked up in, in that type of situation. You know what I mean? Your, your, your camera's lagging just a little bit, but not, it's not too bad. Um, no. It's all good. Uh, so, so I seen you had went to Cali. You went to like, uh, what part of Cali you was in? Uh, I went to the Burning Trees Festival in LA. Uh, what's up to this damn sin, Karina's world in Galveston. Uh, shout out to everybody watching. Uh, well, we went to we went to LA to the Burning Trees Festival. But whenever mm -hmm. I go out there, honestly, uh, shout out to California, the whole state, because when I tell you, uh, like, um, you know, every, everywhere is different. But uh, like when I go out there, I record in Los Angeles. Like, uh, like I, I go all over Long Beach and all that right there. And then I go to the Bay, and then then I go to you know what I'm saying like Sacramento, and then I go you know what I'm saying to like different places. So I just I just love the entire state. I feel like it's my second home out there. You know what I'm saying. So uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Sanders, bro. He's on the committee where they they had ninety thousand people show up to Las Vegas to their event. Ninety thousand. You know they're like th that number is just crazy. And uh, so uh, he invited me out to L.A. And uh, he's working with me. We're doing some work right now. I literally just last night, I was talking to an A&R that works for Sony and Warner. And, like, you know, we were already, like, going back and forth with ideas and thoughts. And just the fact that, like, now I'm starting to link up with, like, like not no disrespect to nobody. You know what I'm saying? But somebody's like, hey, look, I'm a rapper. And you're like, okay, but, you know, what do you do? And they're like, that's where I go for 40, 60 hours a week. I'm going to be an electrician. And then I'm a rapper, you know, on my pastime. Like, I don't I don't have those 40 hours to be, like, I'm not an electrician. When I say, like, I push my music and my brand seven days a week, like, in conversation everywhere I get out. Like, so I, f I think that th it takes this type of dedication to, you know what I'm saying, like, progress mm -hmm. and move forward, you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah. So, like, going out to Cali, I'll be going out to New York real soon. Like, I got a lot of stuff cooking up over there in New Jersey and different states, like, surrounding states in New York. What what uh, um, uh, what kind of merch do you have right now? What kind of what? Merch, merchandise. Man, honestly, as of right now, I have absolutely nothing. But, <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna make this thing that's gonna have my cash app, and it's gonna have my Zelle, and it's gonna have it's gonna be like a jar, like a tip jar, right? Just a, but like, but like a tricked out one. Like I'm gonna get it custom made. So it's gonna have my cash app, it's gonna have my Zelle, and it's gonna have my donations, right? So mm -hmm. I found out that if I get these like CDs pressed, which I know a lot of people they don't do CDs no more, like everything's Bluetooth and shit like that. But some people still have CD players. So. I found out that it would cost me like a dollar, dollar fifty to press up these like nice ones with a sleeve and you know what I'm saying, like da 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 da. So for a dollar, dollar fifty, I feel like, yeah, I could tell them five dollars and quadruple my money, or I could just be honest with people and be like, look, bro, I paid like a dollar, dollar fifty to print it. Uh if you want to donate two, three dollars, five dollars, whatever you could donate, here's my Zelle, my Cash App, or my little tip jar. If you don't have nothing to give me, take it with you. God bless you. Thank you for listening to my music. Just do me one favor. Just pass it around to as many people as you can. I remember back in the day when Swisher House was around, they had this thing called bootleggers. They were like, oh, bootleg, beat your ass. Like, they used to hate these people. They used to hate them because they would take what they did and then make, and then make copies and make their own, their own thing with it, right? Right. I love bootleggers. <laughs> so if I give you a CD and you go home and, and you burn 10 copies of it and you go to work and you give it to 10 people, bro, uh, DM me so I can shout you out. Thank you so, so, so much. I give my music away for absolutely free. If you DM me, I will send you two, three, four songs. Like, like, just, like you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not yeah. trying to get streams and downloads. I'm just trying to get people to hear me. That's it. I, I feel like I feel like if I could get the interview, I could get the job. So if you listen to two or three of my songs and you fuck with it, that's cool. Cause I I got like fifty I haven't released, and I got three hundred songs I haven't recorded. So like if I could get you two or three for free just to bring you in, I'm selling fajita plates. I got puppies. I'm trying to get in, in uh, uh real estate, Airbnb. 
Shit, I do. I shoot pool. You know, right now I'm at the pool hall right now, and and like uh, I got a whole twenty pound fried turkey, like fried it for everybody here, cause like I literally for like the last ten fifteen years I I come to the pool hall during Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's gonna shoot pool. It's my getaway. Yeah. Uh, usually entrepreneurs, man, they they uh, have new goals every year. What are some of your goals for the new year? My goal, my goal for the next year is to is to grow and not stop learning. And I wanna, I wanna dream and imagine more and bigger than I ever than I've ever like allowed myself to. You know, what I'm saying like I wanna allow myself the freedom to enjoy enjoy my imagination enjoy thinking hey you know what like i want to i want to take my family i want to fly my son my daughter my mom yeah. my dad i want to fly us to el salvador so that my kids can have a, a tour by my mom and by my dad while they're both right here which is a blessing i'm so sorry my condolences there anybody watching or watches this that don't have your mom you don't have your dad cause they already passed. So while I have mine, yeah, I hope my music takes off. Yeah, I hope I make a big bag of money. But personally, I hope that me and you talk in 12 months. And I tell you, you remember I told you I wanted to take my family to El Salvador? Bro, like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I took my mother, my daughter, and my son. The, you know, what somebody will spend on rims for their car or what somebody will spend, like, on a real Rolex. Um I I rather put that into like creating moments for my kids once once their grandparents aren't here once I'm not here you know I want my kids to say that they went and they walked where my family's from they saw yeah. the you know what I'm saying so I I I think I think yeah that'd be my goal to to take my kids to El Salvador 